Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss a posture question from the WJEC board. It appeared in June 2018. The paper is MATS C4 0976-01. Question number five. The region shaded in the diagram below is bounded by the x-axis, the y-axis, and that part of the curve with the equation x squared plus y squared equals to a squared, a bigger than zero, lying in the first quadrant. The curve intersects the x-axis at the point Q. Good. In part A of the problem, they are asking us to write down the x-coordinate of Q. Now, before we look at the solution that I've written down here, x squared plus y squared equals to a squared is the equation of a circle centered 0, 0 and radius a. So straight away, by looking at this equation, you know that this value of x is a. Okay, that being the radius. So you know the x coordinate of q will be a. Now what I've written here is at q being q being on the x-axis, you know the y value is zero. So you just plug in, okay, plug in y equals to zero, you'll get x squared equals to a squared, and therefore you'll get x equals to a, a being positive. So therefore the x coordinate of q will be a. And we're done. In part b, we've got two parts to this question. By carrying out an appropriate integration, you're asked to find the volume generated when the region shaded in the diagram is rotated through four right angles, that is 360 degrees, about the x-axis. And you're asked to give a geometrical interpretation. Again, you're asked to give a geometrical interpretation of your answer. Okay, part B carries four marks. Now, we are rotating about the x-axis. So, that's the first thing. We are rotating about the x-axis and we are asked to find the volume. So, the formula that should jump out at you should be pi y squared dx. Okay, that's the formula that should jump out at you. So, that's what you see written here in this line. Let me move it up a bit. Okay. And we know that uh, x squared plus y squared equals to a squared. Therefore, y squared will be what? Good. a squared minus x squared. And we are integrating with respect to x. Therefore, the x values will go from 0 here to a. That's what you see here. Okay. Pi, the integral of X, excuse me, the integral of a squared minus x squared, uh, we integrate with respect to x, and the x value is going from 0 to a. Almost done. Just perform the integration. We'll get a squared x minus x cubed over 3. Plug in the value of a. Okay, plug in the value of a, and you'll get 2 over 3 pi a cubed. And we're done. The geometrical interpretation of the answer, let's draw it here again, this quadrant. Now when you uh, take this region and you swing it through four right angles about the x-axis, what you're going to get is a hemisphere. So this is the volume of a hemisphere of radius a. I've added a note here. Remember, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So half of this will be 2 over 3 pi r cubed. 
and since our radius is a we have an answer here which is 2 over 3 pi a cubed therefore we know this is the volume of a hemisphere of radius a